Hi, my name is Mr. Waltman. I am the Senior Project Coordinator. The purpose of this video is to inform you of the different choices you have for Senior Project and also to outline the specific components that are required for Senior Project. At the end of today's presentation, I will give you information about where to go for more information on Senior Project, summer approval, uh, sample portfolios, and sample presentations. Senior Project is not a standardized test. The challenge of Senior Project is to develop a personally meaningful project. What begins with an idea must develop into a detailed plan that is carried out over the course of your senior year. This will require many skills that are necessary for success in college and the workplace. Let's take a look at some of those skills. Creativity. Being creative is not just the domain of art and music departments. Creative thinking is necessary in all fields, including business, math, and science. Creative ideas don't come easy for everyone. Give senior projects some thought, and your brain is sure to come up with a unique, meaningful, and personal project. Digital literacy. Whether you are planning to attend college or enter the workforce, basic technology skills are necessary. The senior project requires you to maintain an electronic portfolio, which will require many basic computer skills. Communication. The senior project requires a variety of communication skills, one of the most important skills you can develop for the workplace. Good communication skills are needed to develop a project, obtain a mentor, complete your product, and share your product. Collaboration. From the very beginning, we all needed to rely on someone else for success. In every endeavor, we need others to achieve our goals. Many successful senior projects are the result of support from great mentors, teachers, and other human resources in the community. Problem solving. The ability to define, identify, and solve problems will serve you well, whether in the future you find yourself constructing a house, a business plan, a financial plan, or a game plan. There are three types of senior projects. Again, it is very important to choose the type of senior project that is most meaningful to you. When students choose personally meaningful projects, they are motivated to complete the project and they have more fun along the way. Choice number one is passion projects. One type of senior project reflects student passions. No, 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 not that kind of passion. This kind of passion. Pursue something that stirs the soul, something that you feel deeply about. It's the time to take your skills to another level. For example, these two students extended their passions by one, writing and writing short stories, and the other student learned to fly an airplane. Second choice, service projects. The second type of senior projects are community service projects. Students have become activists, work directly with populations in need, and raise money. These include working with organizations like Invisible Children or local hospitals like the Golisano Children's Hospital. Number three, finally students pursue career choices with their senior project by completing internships or other career-based projects. Students have worked with engineering firms, hospitals, energy, advertising, and marketing firms. Others have worked in research labs, and some have even created and opened their own businesses. Once you decide on the type of project, you will all complete four different components. There are four tasks of the senior project that you will complete over the course of the year. Let's take a look, one component at a time. The proposal. The proposal requirements require you to lay out a detailed plan of actions. It has to contain specific times, dates, locations. It has to meet an estimated 15 hour minimum. You have to acquire a mentor, someone who has some expertise in the area of your project. They have to be at least 25 years old. And finally, you have to show how you will provide some evidence of learning. This might be videos, 
photo journals, or written diaries and journals. Second component is the product itself. This is based on the career, passion, and service choices that we already talked about. You have to spend 15 hours at least on this project. You will have five mentor meetings. You could have more, but that's a minimum. And also, along the way of completing your project, you are going to document the entire process and be able to show evidence of your work. Number three, the e-portfolio. The electronic portfolio is a place where you will store everything that you complete for your project. Let's take a look at an electronic portfolio from this school year. The home page will introduce your project and it will also include your detailed proposal, a mentor bio, a picture of your uh, mentor and you working together. It will also chronicle all the time that you put into your project. This is the mentor meeting log. This tells the date of your meeting, uh, when you met, where you met, and the goals and outcomes of each of your mentor meetings. You also keep track of time logs. This is the actual amount of time on the product itself. This is what has to add up to at least 15 hours. Evidence of learning can take many different forms. In this case, it was document files uh, of actual writing of the short stories that the student uh, wrote. A product reflection, thinking about how you could improve for next time, what you learned from your project, what you learned from your mentor. Uh, we have some guiding questions to help you write your reflection piece. And then finally, an acknowledgement page where you get to thank people that have helped you complete your senior project. The fourth task of senior project is the presentation. Presentations are given in late May. It is a public presentation. We bring in community judges and an evening in May you will give a 68 minute speech talking about your senior project and the process that you went through for the entire year. So let's take a look at uh, 20 seconds or so of a senior project presentation. For demonstration purposes, please lift your head, as I do, and stare at the ceiling, and keep it there until I tell you to put it back down. Okay, good, good job. Okay, I'm going to leave now, and I'll be back in four years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to ask that of you, so you can put your heads back down. <laughs> but imagine yourself as Michelangelo, and you're painting the Sistine Chapel. That's basically what he had to do for four years, and he didn't even like... Okay, let's take a look at uh, what we've covered so far. Uh, we've talked about the types of senior projects that you can do, career, uh, service, and passion-based projects. We've talked about the four components of senior project, the proposal, the e-portfolio, the product itself, and the presentation.